Now, in the courting phase, if you are dating with your traumas, because remember, how you start is the way you finish. The courting phase is going to be three months, okay? The courting phase, when you're in person and when you can see each other regularly, then it's three months. This is what I decided that I was going to do. For those of you who heard about my Love Mastery Retreat, you've probably seen the videos, you've seen the women that have been able to transform, like powerful things happen at the Love Mastery Retreat. And I was like, how can I teach women and give women value, but like a smaller version of the Love Mastery Retreat where I can teach them about their love blocks and help them to identify how their love blocks is sabotaging them when it comes to having the life and the love of their dreams. If in your spirit, you felt like that was a lot of money to invest in yourself, but you would pay that for a car or a house, then ma'am, you are existing in scarcity and you are holding yourself back, okay? I started off homeless on food stamps and somebody taught me this lesson I'm about to teach you. You don't ever date based on where you're at. You never choose a man based on where you're at right now. You never make decisions based on where you're at right now. You make decisions based on where it is that you're going. And as women, we have been taught to settle for second best, to not know our value, to not stand in our value, to not pour back into us. Men, when I used to work with men, men paid that all day long. That wasn't a lot to them. Not at all. Okay. I would match make millionaire men and men and men would pour that into themselves. And the way you think about yourself is the way you allow men to treat you. If you think that's too much for you to pour that in yourself, ma'am, then a man is going to come in your world who thinks that is too much effort to pour. That's what you got to understand because money is simply energy. When you pour that money into yourself, whether it's me, look, one thing I'm not going to do is I'm never going to in insult your intelligence by trying to convince you to work with me. For those of you who have ever done one-on-one -on -one with me, you already know. One I won't ever sell you and you should never sell yourself. Stop charging little for yourself. When you're out here dating these builder bears, ma'am, your price. A lot of y'all ain't even making the money you should be making in your career. Why? Because to you, when you hear some another woman tell you that she charges twenty thousand an hour and that the program costs thirty five, you think that's a lot. So you make twenty thousand dollars less than what you deserve. You're making fifty thousand dollars less than what you deserve. Because subconsciously, your mind is telling you that you're not worth it. If you have love blocks, you have money blocks that's stopping your money forever, ma'am. Whether you pour that into yourself or you not, you're going to pay that money, ma'am. Uncle Sam is going to get that money because as a single woman, you're paying it. And your income that you're not making that's not at your level, you are paying it. If you are a business owner and if you thought that spending $35,000 on yourself was a lot of money, then ma'am, you are missing millions. I literally help my clients to become millionaires. My clients oftentimes double and triple their income because I help them to rewire this. So hell yeah, I charge $20,000 an hour. And ma'am, if you're providing that kind of results, if you know you're good at what it is that you do in your job or in your business, my question to you is, why are you charging so little? If you know that you're a good woman, you know that you love with everything in your soul. You know that you've helped a man who was on the ground be able to build his business, go to college, raise his kids, clean the house, you washing clothes, you organizing uh, date nights and all kinds of stuff. You're doing all this stuff that uplifted that man so that he can become successful. You are an amazing woman. Why are you y'all dating these broke men because you looking for free advice on some YouTube and tip? No, ma'am. In order for me 
to get out of that mindset where I was homeless on food stamps. I had to change my consciousness and started to behave not where I was, but where I wanted to go. I started acting like a millionaire before I ever became a millionaire. When my coach told me it cost $150,000 to work with him, I thought about it. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I did think about it, okay? I did think about it. But then I said yes. Because I knew if I poured that into me, I knew it would come back to me exponentially. I'm saying this to inspire you. The reason why I make sure that I charge what I charge is because people who pay, pay attention. Women who work with me, they're excited to invest in themselves because they get to invest in themselves because they know it's coming back to them tenfold. They know their life improving is going to come back to them tenfold. That's where I want to get you. I want to get you to the point where when you say, okay, well, I'm paying $35,000 or $65,000 on myself, that's nothing. You can keep moving up and you can keep getting more. But for now, get out of the lack and limitation mentality. Stop settling for these dead roaches, these men who can't love you right. And stop settling for a life that doesn't fulfill you. All because you've been taught that if you want to have more, that you're a gold digger, that you're selfish, okay? That you're ungrateful. You got all these men that are millionaires, and I'm gonna tell y'all something, okay? Because when I get my show, which is gonna happen soon, I won't be able to talk to y'all like this. I won't be able to have a real conversation with y'all. So right now, I can just keep it real, and I can just have a real conversation with you because a lot of y'all might not hear me, but there's some of y'all that can hear me. And for those who can hear me, this is going to bless and change your life. And then you're going to be giving me a testimonial a year from now, how your life has been blessed and changed because of this information that I'm telling you right now. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. The reason why you think it's a lot of money for you to invest 35000 and 65000 in yourself is because as women, we have been intentionally brainwashed to take less for ourselves. But men have been taught to expect more and do more. That's why there's more men millionaires. Second, all, second of all, if y'all can just get out your daggone way and clear the love blocks because love is energy, baby. Just like money is energy. The things that are blocking you with love I don't care how much money you make, it's blocking your money. If you can get out your way and you clear those love blocks, you're going to see the money. You're going to see that money start to go up and up exponentially. You are meant to live life more abundantly. And let's just forget about the money for a second. This woman came to me, this client came to me. She booked an emergency appointment with me. She could barely even talk. She was crying. And she told me that the man that she married, who she thought was a good man, had been having sex with her daughter from the time that her daughter was five until she was 17 years old. Do you think that she would have thought paying $35,000 to heal her love blocks or $65,000 to heal her love blocks to prevent that from happening to her child? Do you think she would have thought that would have been worth it? Yes or no? And I hear those stories all the time, just so y'all know. I hear it all the time. Do you think she would have thought it would have been too much? For those of you who are ready, I'm trying to elevate your consciousness. I get it. Not all of y'all are going to be there. Not all of y'all are going to be there. But do you think that she would have thought it would have been worth it? I had another woman who came to me and this woman made like 270000 She was like a VP of the company, extremely successful, very smart woman. She gets with a man. She hasn't been in a relationship in over 10 years. And this man presented himself as if he really, really loved her. Like he was a good guy. He had a good job. He was very educated. And he asked her if she would support him in his business. Like 
they got really close. They were in a relationship. And she said, if you, if you, he said to her, if you really believe in me and if you really love me, then you would support my dream. What archetype is she, ma'am? Just put it in the chat. What archetype you think she is before I even finish the story? Which one of the archetypes you think she is? She was an onyx ruby, but she was more onyx than she was ruby. Okay. She was an onyx. She took a hundred thousand dollars out to invest in this man's business venture. And guess what the heck he did? Just guess. Anybody want to guess? He left. He ghosted her. She was, she was in this relationship with this man for like a good eight months to a year. He left. He ghosted her. It's funny, I, I, I have an aunt and she used to tell me all the time, she said, you're going to pay in the front end or you're going to pay in the back. You're going to pay in the front end so that you know how to be able to bet, select, and attract a quality man or you're going to pay in the back end with that divorce, with that broke builder bear that you done chose, who's now asking you for half, Sherry Shepard, and asking you for child support. Or when you're looking at your child, looking at the window, wondering where daddy is, you're going to pay in the front end or the back end, ma'am. Raise your standards. All of you guys can have the life that you want. You were promised everything you want more abundantly. Go get your more abundantly. But the only way you can get there is if you start with you.